Hey everyone, so today is going to be my BoxyCharm December unboxing for 2016. So if you want to see what I got in my box, keep on watching and I'll have all my other BoxyCharms video linked down below and my referral code if you would like to get this box or get the future boxes because BoxyCharm is great. So let's get right on into it. We open the box. This is what the boxes look like. They always have this card in it. And this month's theme is Makeup on Point. They always have a theme. This is everything you can do to share the image and hashtag if you want to do a giveaway because they always do giveaways every month. And then on the back, it shows all the products, how much they cost, and a little product description, and little tips. And it's pretty great. So first thing first, we have this Butter London Nail Polish. It's a beautiful color. It's called Ruby Marie. So this is the second, um, but in London, I wash have gone into my box. I don't really paint my nails, but maybe one day I'll get into it. You know, because I should. So I'm gonna keep this because I really love the color. And this retails for $15. So that's awesome. An eight free lacquer and heavily pigmented color and finish. Boxy tip. Apply one coat of lacquer, let dry, and apply a second coat. So I might actually have to give this a shot. I'm pretty excited about it. I won't be doing it on camera because I will mess them up. Right next up we have this little box, yeah, and it is by Beauty For Real, it's a Rip Revival, Exfoliating Hydrating Lip Scrub. I love lip scrubs because my lips are dry with this winter thing we got going on. So this is what the packaging looks like, it has this little thing on the top, that's what the bottom looks like, inside. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips, because why not? It smells kind of good. Alright, so I'm going to go wipe that off and let you know what I think. So overall, I think it worked pretty well. I still have some like, little spots on my lips, but as I said, they were dry. This is the Beauty For Real Lip Revival Scrub. It, it retails for $14. Raw sugarcane exfoliates your lips while orange, vanilla, and cinnamon bark essential oils hydrate and condition for the softest, smoothest, kissable lips. Mm. This product will leave your lips hydrated and moisturized like a lip balm. Guys love it too. Boxy tip. Apply just a bit to your lips and gently rub your lips together or rub with your fingertips to exfoliate. exfoliate. Your lips will feel a smooth as silk and you'll feel like you just had dessert. Right, so that's pretty nice. Always down for new lip scrub or any kind of scrub. They're pretty great. I have three of her lipsticks from the Mani Emule Club, and I love them all. So I'm really excited to try this one out. It's like right up my alley. Right up my alley. It's like a metallic purple. And the shade is called Napa Valley. The only thing I think is weird is that they didn't put it in the box. But hey, whatever. So I don't have a mirror, so I'm just going to do this right here. Great, so that's what the lipstick looks like. It's a really pretty metallic purple. And it retails for $19.90. Oprah is a long-lasting liquid lipstick. It's a one-step full color that does not feather. The creamy and soft texture moisturizes your lips while creating a long-lasting lipstick effect. Contains antioxidants and vitamin E. Boxy tip. For best results, moisturize your lips, then sweep color using the doe foot applicator. So this is really pretty. It's metallic purple. It's not going to be for everybody, let's be real. But it is for me. Alright, so this is a eyeshadow palette. It is the Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection. Open her up. This is what the outside packaging looks like. And this is the back. They have a little discount code on a sticker on the back. I don't know. I like how that it's a sticker, but All right. So here is what it looks like. You know what it looks like. It looks like the Naked Three. And I already own the Naked Three, so. I don't really need a Naked 3 look-alike, but we will try it out and give it a shot. It comes with this brush. It comes 
also the mirror. So I'm not going to be using the brush because it doesn't look like a brush that I would like to use. Right, so I'm going to be taking the shade Dune and using that as my first transistor in color. I love this lipstick. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking the shade Clay and putting that in the crease as well as a transition color. Just to deepen it up a little more. I will say that the mirror is like, it's like magnifying. It's making my face look really wide. It's kind of weird because I feel like my eyes look really elongated. They're not. All right, so next I'm gonna be taking this shade called Dessert, and I'm gonna put in that really deep in the crease, okay? Just to, and like on my outer V, just add some, add some stuff. All right, so next I'm gonna be taking the shade Mirage and just putting that on the outer V some more. And I'm just gonna go back to my fluffy blending brush and make sure that everything is nice and blended. Right, so next I'm gonna be using a flat synthetic brush by Tarte. And I am going to take this shade called Canyon and put it all over my lid. And I'm just going to be patting that in. There is some fallout. So that's not bad, but I definitely think that some Fix Plus or some Primer Water or something like that would definitely help it look more sparkly because it's not very sparkly. So I am going to use a brush and I'm going to apply this white shade called Quartz all over my brow bit. I hate the brush. I hate it. Okay. I'm also gonna apply that in my tear duct area. And then I'm gonna take the first two shades and put those under my eyes. The mirror is so bad, okay? The mirror is terrible. Like, if you turn it a certain way, like, distorts your whole entire face. It's so funny. It's like my little fun house. All right, so let me get my neck of three. Let me get it. Let me get it. And we're gonna look at them together. Just so you can know. All right, so I just want y'all to know my neck of three is the first high-end palette I got. I got it two years ago for Christmas from my good friend Chelsea. Thank you so much. So it's been loved a lot. Come on, so we're gonna look at them. I'm gonna swatch them for you. It's gonna be a longer video. But do you wanna know if it's a dupe or not? I'm gonna find out. The packaging looks a lot alike. I do definitely think that the negative three packaging is better. It's easier to open. The mirror, well, I wish y'all could see this freaking mirror. The mirror is way better than the negative three, obviously. Obviously. All right, so on the top, we have the Naked 3, lightest or darkest. I'm sorry for this terrible swatch. And on the bottom, we have the Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection. As you can see, these finger swatch are freaking awesome, but they're really powdery, so... It's like, they kind of like break on you, you know what I'm saying? Like when you put your finger in there, and there's a lot of fallout. Um, <clears throat> they are quite similar, so it's kind of up to you. <clears throat> this resells for $50. I would not pay $50 for it just because of the packaging alone. But you can get in box chart for $21 a month for this month before it sells out. And then you'll have it. 
And you'll have to buy the Mega 3, unless you have it, unless you want to. <clears throat> this is a palette featuring 12 wearable shades inspired the popular smoky eye trend. Boxy tip. To maximize staying power, start with your favorite eyeshadow primer. Blend these smooth, rich pigment pigments to create your desired look. So, that's that. Sorry, I talked about that for so long, I just wanted to give you all the facts, you know? So, next, on to the next product. We have this IBY eyeliner pencil. It's in the shade blue gray. I'm just gonna put it on my waterline. Honestly, I know you can't tell, but this is like not even going on my waterline. Like barely at all. It's like not staying on there. It's just gonna go on my lower lash line. It's a nice color, but I, mean, I probably wouldn't buy it. Let me show you the hand swatch. See if it showed up like that on my waterline, then I'd probably love it, but it does not. I watched other Boxy Charms video and they got a makeup beat eyeliner, which I was kind of looking forward to, but. You win some, you lose some. It's cheap. Okay, it's $21. You get full size products. It's great. This is the IBY Beauty Eyeliner. We also got a trio from them like a few months ago of eyeshadows, and they were lovely. It's a contouring eyeliner that glides on and makes your eyes come to life. This velvety formula is water resistant, offering a smooth application without pulling on the sensitive eye area. Boxy tip line your eyes starting from the inner corner of your eye, working your way around the outer corner. This retails for $14. So I totaled up the value of the Sun's box and it's $112, which is amazing since you only pay $21 for it. This definitely is not my favorite box I've ever gotten, but there's more to come. And I did get some great products out of this that I'm excited about. All my other boxes I've loved. I will link down the previous videos below so you can see whether or not you want to get BoxyCharm for yourself. Because it's a great deal. It's a great deal. You trust me. I tell you. It's a great deal. Let me know what you'd like to see next down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time.